everyone and welcome to our live video this afternoon all about our Keras baby and toddler carriers. Do say hello when you have joined the video today. Let me know um, whether you have any questions at all about the Keras carrier. I'm here to share with you all of the features, um, some fancy finishes and just generally chat to you all about the um, the Keras, which is unique to OSHA, and we're really proud of the Keras carrier <laughs> um, for a number, number of reasons. So I will be able to go into those um, in a little bit more detail. Um, I have been gathering some questions from you already, so I'll do my best to answer those. But if, you if, you're an if your question doesn't come up, or if you have something that you think of along the way, then just let me know and I will be able to show you or tell you as much as I can about the Keras. So good afternoon Annika, lovely to have you with us and Jordan, lovely to have you with us as well. Hi there Becky, <laughs> wonderful. Okay so first of all I'll start off with the baby Keras. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the front carry and this is how it comes all packed up so it's really nice and compact. You can easily pop it in um, your bag or into the stroller or the buggy if you are out and about and you're looking for an occasional carrier. So why should you choose the carrier for your little one? So one of the main reasons that we developed the Keras carrier is so that we could have a really quick um, carrying option that was still really comfortable and um, soft and moldable to your body. So the idea is that it feels as close to a woven wrap, which of course is our speciality here at OSHA, should feel as close to a woven wrap as possible in terms of a carrier. And it's made from our beautiful fabrics and we do um, take care to match the webbing as well so that everything still looks really stylish. <laughs> So first of all, with the baby carrier, you can put it on in a, in a couple of different ways. So the way we've designed it is to go on with a um, rolled waistband just like so. Um, we did have a question about apron style. You can, of course, use it apron style um, if you prefer that. So you'd need to turn it around and then put it on back to front. But of course, because the back has the exact same fabric as the front, it, is, it absolutely can be worn like this. And the only downside of wearing it apron style is that your um, hood buckles will be on the inside. So it wouldn't be um, as easy to use the hood if you did want to do apron style. Um, now I find that the, the, um, the, the way the Keras has been designed in terms of its um, its waistband and the way we put it on is really very comfortable and it also gives you lots of versatility in terms of, of um, baby's size. So I'm using a little um, doll at the moment. So she is about um, about two, three months probably, um, about kind of eight weeks <laughs> or so. So she is on the small size. So what you can do with the Keras carrier as well is you can actually roll the waist to make the panel shorter for a little one um, but I will just show you putting it on as normal um, and it does actually work quite well with a little baby as well so I'll show you how to adjust that. Now we had a question about positioning on your body so I am about 28 weeks pregnant at the moment so I'm going to be positioning on top of my bump um, but to be honest the position of the waistband is all determined by the age of your baby and of your and your size and shape as well. So really your age of your baby, what you're looking for, so I'm going to bring it up onto the bump and to be honest it's very comfortable for pregnant uh, women so I would say that if you are pregnant it's a good option because we've got this lovely stratilinear waistband which goes all the way round and that is so comfortable against my bump, um, but it's also really good for after baby two that stops any digging in. So that's a really lovely feature of the Keras carrier. So I'm just going to tighten that up there just now. So I obviously have it quite high up on my bump at the moment. Um, but with the, with the baby, what you're looking to do is to position their bottom, almost make a hammock out of the sling. 
So if you can imagine, you can see that from the side. So you're looking to position their bottom so that the, the, so the top of the, ca the carrier comes just to the nape of their neck. So you're really just looking um, to either position them kind of further down here if they're a really tiny baby or you can have the waistband down a little bit more and you would just have a little sort of overlap of the baby bottom over over the um, fabric here so it's all dependent on your baby but I would say err on the side of having the waistband higher up than lower down you're always going to get a better fit if in doubt go high <laughs> so I'll just collect my doll bring this bring her up and over so as you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to position her right over that piece of panelling there and I'll bring up the carrier. Okay, so I can see I'm looking for this kind of height. So that looks about right to me. And I'll go over one shoulder and over the other. So the shoulder straps, this brings me on to the shoulder straps and the, the feature, um, the lovely feature construction of those. So as you can see, they've got a little bit of padding in them, which is so lovely for um, cushiness, comfort on your shoulder, but it's not so stiff that it kind of sits up off your shoulder. You may see some carriers kind of fighting a little bit with your, um, with the contour of your shoulder and your shape. So it still allows it to be moldable. And that's something that we love about the level of padding that we've gone for in the shoulder straps. So um, then you'll notice that there's a lovely flare strap that comes out over here. So from about, oh, yeah, just over the shoulder, it turns into this beautiful flare and that way you can spread these passes over your little one. So um, brilliant for toddlers and heavier babies for giving you that extra support and I'll show you that um, when we do the back, well I'll show you that actually now as well. Um, and another benefit is if you are carrying in the winter and you're looking to keep your baby a little bit warmer that can be a really lovely feature. So um, I'm going to go over, so I'm going to grab round, go under and collect my strap and I'll pull it kind of downwards and across and then over baby's legs. So depending on your preference and your age of baby you may want to go under legs, that's absolutely fine, no problem at all. Sometimes if you're using the cinch, um, which comes with the carrier as well, there is a, a cinch that you can cinch in the, um, pan the panel as well if you want to for a newborn. So that comes over le the leg, I'm going to show you over the leg just now, down and over the other knee. And then I'll just twist under the bottom, cross my hands and under the legs. So as I say, you can go over, you can go under, it's completely up to yourself. And I'll do a double knot there at the back. Um, and I'll show you how <laughs> that looks. So we can tuck this part down, make sure your hands are up. And that's the most simple use of the Keras baby carrier. If you did want to spread the straps, we had a question about that as well. The best way to spread the straps. So in my opinion, what I would actually do is I would bring everything round to this kind of stage and then I'd pop one of the straps through my um, into my knees to hold the tension. And then I would take the other side and I'd open it up at this stage. I'm opening it up and guiding that piece of fabric into the knee pit and gathering it all, holding the tension all the way over and I'm gonna go underneath <laughs> this leg if I can really sit from the other strap. So there we are. And then what I'll do is I'll do the same on the other side. So what you might need to do at this stage is actually have that one underneath. So you've guided it as much as you can and then you'll get it after. So then I'll hold, open this one up. In fact, I'm going to pin that in and round and then I'm going to pin it in between my thighs. And then we're opening the, the flared straps. Beautiful other side of the fabric there underneath the leg. And then I'm holding back onto that piece and doing my double knot again at the back. So that's a really lovely option, adds a little bit extra support, a little bit extra warmth as well. Um, and it looks super, super pretty. <laughs> so that's the case.
here is Funt Curry. Now I'd like to show you a little option for um, a little um, option that you can try if you're using this with a really tiny newborn. So the weight limit for the Keras does start at seven pounds. So the baby Keras can be used from birth, providing your baby is seven pounds. Um, uh, so you do sometimes get really tiny babies in the Keras. And um, what you would do there is you would roll the waistband, you would use the cinch to bring the panel in. We've got full instructions on our YouTube channel for that. And then there's a really nifty little trick that you can do um, to shorten the width at the top as well. So I'm going to take this shoulder strap and I'm going to go unpin it underneath my shoulder at that side instead of going over first. We call this the front wrap cross carry um, method of with the, with the carers for this. And then I'm going to grab that one so up and older, over, either one, doesn't matter which one you go with first of all, up and over my shoulder and then I will pin it down, down the side of the, the panel and I'll just pinch that between my knees as well to hold it in place for now. And then I'll do the same with this other side. So I'll just um, take the, the strap with my hand there and up and over again, up onto my shoulder. So I've got a high cross at the back and I'm going to bring that down again and pin it in place and then guide these two straps underneath the bottom of the baby, underneath legs and then tie at the back. And what you'll notice that doing, so that's a double knot at the back, what you'll notice that doing is it just pinches in the body panel, you get that lovely straight line which helps to support the baby's head and just brings everything in a little bit there and it's very um, comfortable especially if you're carrying a little baby you know they're not going to be very heavy either so I think almost just kind of framing that around your body it really is a lovely option for carrying a newborn in the Keras. Um, so I'm just going to see if there's any questions here first on the um, baby Keras and then we're going to move on to back carries and some fancy finishes as well. Um, so let me see what we have. Um, thank you all for joining me today. It's really lovely. <laughs> thank you, Denise. <laughs> it's lovely. Commenting on my growing bump. <laughs> That's brilliant. So do, of course, put any questions that you have down here if I've not covered them. Um, already or um, if something pops into your head you can just let me know. So I should of course mention that the Keras does come with a hood and um, there are little hood straps here and if you've gone for a Keras um, with a pattern uh, the patterns all match up and same with the colourway so you'll have the Willow Esprit is really beautiful isn't it? Um, just like so. And of course, this is the cinch to cinch in the waistband if you're using it with a tiny baby. Um, but as you can see, even with this uh, doll who's around kind of two, three months old, she um, doesn't necessarily need the cinch. Um, okay, so we'll take the baby Keras off and I um, will take, take the front carry off and I'm going to... Um, switch to another uh, baby carrier and I'm going to pop the baby on the back. Of course, you if you're doing a back carry, you would want to make sure that your baby has full head control and can sit up on their own. So that normally happens around six months. Um, but today, because I <laughs> have the bump and um, we, we've got the little baby, I'm just going to demo in the doll today anyway, um, even though she is obviously a little bit young. Okay, so. Um, another question we had was a wee comparison of the Keras um, with and without fleece in the middle. So this is the one that does have fleece, so you've seen how that's gone on and, and after the video has ended you can, we will publish it on um, our Facebook page and our YouTube channel and you can always rewind a little bit to see how that looked when it was on. Um, but the other Keras, baby Keras I've got here today is the Star Night Ocean another classic Keras and this doesn't have any um, 
fleece in the body panel. So it's a little bit cooler, it's a little bit more airy, um, but of course it's a little bit less structured. So that's the just simply Osha fabric on the front and the back. This one has a thin layer of fleece in the middle. Um, so you can see how they move slightly differently. Um, Alright, so I'm going to show you some back carrying options now um, and some fancy finishes and ways to tie it off and some tips and tricks as well and then I'll show you the toddler Keras at the end too. So I'm wondering if you can see my um, baby doll here at the bottom. I think you can just see my baby doll. So I'm actually going to show you how you could do a Superman toss with the Keras carrier. So um, there are instructions for the hip scoot. So you pop your baby in on the front and you scoot them round to your back. Super good for beginners. I would really recommend that, especially if it's your first time using a, a back carry with a carrier or any back carry. Um, and you can find instructions for that on our YouTube channel. Of course, if you have a toddler and they are happy to piggyback up onto your back, you can clip the waist belt on first, have that at the back hanging down, and then you can bring up the straps up onto your back and um, up over them as a toddler. Um, you can do that so you can prepare your carry, just popping it on, bend down, have them clamber onto your back, and then you can bring up the straps like so. But this is quite a nifty method, especially if you're looking to get a really nice high back carry. So maybe you've got a slightly younger baby that can still sit up and have neck control. Um, you might want to try this. So what I'm going to do, I'm hoping you can see them there. If you can't see them, I'll bring it obviously closer in a second. So I'm just going to take the whole back of the, the uh, carrots and line that up to the back of my baby. And then I'm going to pick them up in this, using the super, Superman toss method. <laughs> so you can see I've got the carrots at the back. I'm supporting them, holding them by the rib cage rather than their shoulders under their arm. And I'm going to swing them round like so and pin them up onto my back with the shoulder straps. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this into my between your knees. So of course if this is, if you're um, not practiced in back carrying, you may want to get a spotter. So somebody to, to just stand beside you or behind you while you do this. And you can also obviously use a bed um, or sit down um, and, and do that as well. So I'm just opening up. Now do bear in mind that this baby, she is a little bit on the small side for the Keras back carry. Um, so I'm bringing over that lovely comfort waistband, stratilinear waistband, and I'm just going to loosen that off a little bit. She's done that before putting them in. And uh, just make sure I've got enough here and then I'll just adjust them in that carrier and bring them down a tiny bit make sure that their bottom is in a good position that their legs are in out either side and then I obviously do need to tighten that up a little bit more so I'll do that here, make sure that everything's still nice and comfortable for me and pull that through and there we go okay so back carries so that's one way you can get your baby onto the back um, obviously there's hip scoop method and there's also the kind of clambering method it method as well so you can definitely watch um, tutorials on our YouTube for those so the most simple way to wear the baby Keras is, um, and the toddler Keras, bear in mind that most of you will probably be using this with their, your toddler, all these same um, fancy finishes and techniques completely um, work for toddlers as well, and in fact you'd probably be using the toddler carrier if you're doing a lot of this. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that she's, yeah, I think she's over a little bit more than 
one side to the other, but I think that all looks okay. So I'm going over the knee and round and under and um, underneath the knee on the way back round. And then you can simply tie off in a double knot. So this is the most straightforward and simple way to use the carrier. Now if you do, if you are using this with a baby carrier, um, you can use the cinch as a chest pass. So I often find that really with the carer's carrier, with any back carry, um, you are almost going to want to create some kind of um, tension between the two straps to bring everything together. So this can be a handy tool to use. Um, with the toddler carrier, we don't have cinches with the toddler carrier, although you can use any soft piece of fabric that you like and you can create your own chest pass that way. So this is the most simple, basic version of creating the chest pass. But of course, many of you <laughs> will have seen the fancy finishes and the different techniques that you can go for. So what we'll do is we'll show you some of those now. So what you can do, first of all, I'll show you the knotless um, Tibetan finish. So I'm going to go one strap through the knee and other one up. I'm going to go over the front. So if you want to do a knotless finish, you're always going over the pass that it, your tension is creating. So um, I'll bring that round and down and then I will go up the other side with my uh, Keras straps and bring that round and tuck it down. So you can either leave the passes just like so or you can even spread them which looks really really pretty and is a really nice way to finish off the carrier and the carry. So that's one option of a nice fancy finish you can do as a back carry. Um, so the next thing, the next one that I'd like to show you is um, this one option. <laughs> so the next one I'd like to show you is a, just a twist at the top. So instead of bringing everything up, oh in fact no I remember my, my running order now. Um, so we're going to do a, go a goddess finish. So instead of going just up straight one on each side, we're going to start by doing a twist. So depending on how long your torso is or if you are tying over a bumper knot, you can decide how far you want to go up with your twist. I wonder if I could get away with one more. I think I probably could. And so I'm just twisting that up and then I'm going to go round the strap on this side, just like we did with the Tibetan knotless finish. And the same on the other side. And of course, these are all really good ways of making that um, chest strap, mimic of a chest strap where you've got the two straps being held together. So it's actually even more comfortable to do this kind of finish or some kind of finish um, than it is just to, just to leave it normal. And of course you can see it's very very quick as well. So I'm going to tuck this part down and in like so and open these up. This is just so pretty. Of course you don't need to spread the passes. You could simply have it like that at one both sides probably you'd want to do that and um, but I know that the goddess finish is a real favorite of many of our customers so I'm just opening these up tucking that underneath the one that came before and opening those passes up like so and you can just tuck it away to cover whatever top it is that you're wearing and that just looks so pretty and lovely with my bump as well doesn't it <laughs> so that's a really really lovely option and of course the tails are not overly long um, on the goddess finish as well um okay so i will just undo this one and i'm going to have a little look at the comments and then i have some ring finishes to show you as well um lydia says that looks great and jordan says how pretty these finishes are making me want to care us again um 
Oh lovely, hi there Freya, and Lydia says I've never thought to do Superman Toss with the Keras. We will be trying that later, do let us know how you get on Lydia. Um, good morning, hi everyone, <laughs> tuning in from all over the world. Great, okay so I'm just taking this, the goddess finish off and then I'm going to show you a couple of ring finishes. Um, for Fedraris, uh, this is, is asking which um, Starry Night is this? This is Starry Night Ocean, believe it or not. So it's one of our lovely classic carriers and we do this in wraps and ring slings as well, of course. So another way you could um, you can approach the fancy finishes is actually by um, starting before you tie around. So I'm going to do that for a couple of options. So first of all, you can do a simple knot here at the top. So I'm just going to do a simple twist, twist rather than a knot really. Um, and then I'm going to go and finish off the carry just as it was before. So I think I'll bring that up a little bit more. And I'll go over, across underneath the bottom and then I'll tie the knot down here and then of course so that's you you've got your your straps coming a little bit further forward so it's really nice and comfortable and um, and then if you want to of course you can always spread those passes to make it look even more pretty like so so that's another really lovely option and very simple, very quick, and it's kind of integrated in tying the carry as well. Um, now, instead of doing twists and knots, another um, great way to finish a fancy finish is to use a ring. So, I have a medium sling ring here, and we sell these on our website. Um, I would say the large size are probably the most versatile, but I guess um, because I'm fairly petite on the top, I do prefer, and with the Keras, I do prefer a medium. Um, but of course you can use a large ring um, as well. I probably wouldn't go as far as the small ones unless you were doing just finish with one side. There's so many different fancy finishes that you can do with rings as well. And I would really recommend um, a YouTuber called um, Rap You In Love. So Hedwig of Rap, Rap You In Love has some brilliant YouTube tutorials on how to do different fancy finishes. So I'll link to some of those below as well. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple <laughs> that I prepared for you. Um, so if you're taking your ring, what you can do is you can use your ring instead of a knot at the top here. So what to do is to go, um, one strap goes over I'm going to pin this one between my legs while I show you this. I'll come a little bit closer as well. So one is going over the ring, like so. And then this one is, so do you see how that one's going over? And then this one's gonna go like under, and that just helps to hold the tension properly, like so. So we have something that looks like that. And I'm gonna bring that up to where it feels comfortable on my chest. In fact, I think probably there, just at the end of the padding, I think it's going to work best for me. And then, um, again, we can go back over our legs and finish the carry off just as we did before. And coming back up. And then you can either just tie down here, like so, in a nice double knot. Um, and you have that... Uh, carry. You can always bring those up a little bit more as well if you like. Um, but another really lovely way to finish this one off is to go um, through the rings again. So I'm going to go over the top and bring them under and I'll do the same with this side. So you'll often find that there's lots of little tweaks that you can do just to finish off your carry in a really pretty way and that's another lovely way to um, do the Keras um, fancy finish. So I have one more that I'd like to show you which is a really pretty um, finish with the with the rings um, and then I'll show you the toddler Keras as well 
um, just in terms of a comparison to the two. Um, so I'll take this one down just now and we'll also show you spreading the passes at the back um, as there was a question about that um, before. Okay, so I'm going to just, I can feel baby because I've been faffing around a little bit with the different fence finishes, I can feel them just slipping down a little bit. So I'm just bringing them back up and like I said before, baby is a little bit small for this, um, the carrier. Uh, because they should really be around six months before we're doing back carries. Um, okay, so with this one, pin one side between my legs and I'm going to go around here and I'll, I'll show you opening the passes as well. So we're guiding the bottom rail down into that bottom corner and we're guiding the top rail up here. And this time I'm going to go underneath that one. I've, no, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to go underneath that one. And I'll just hold that in there just for the moment. And then, or in fact, I'm probably better under the chin with that to hold the tension properly. Um, if you do have a toddler, you can ask them to hold it for you. Um, okay, and then I'll do the same on the other side. So, like so, hopefully I've managed that neatly enough. Okay, and then we're going to go through here. So I'm going through that strap before, instead of over. Okay, and now I am ready to, just want to make sure that's tight enough, all the way through, all the way through. And then I'm going to get my ring again. So here is my ring and this time I'm going to have this um, go from underneath like so and I'll do the same on the other side um, underneath and round and then we can open up the passes And then take this back around here and we can do a twist or you can tie at the back if you have enough room. So I think I'll probably go with tying at the back but if you don't have enough room then you can always do a knotless finish there as well. So I'm tying that off underneath my baby's bottom and then we can open up these passes which is a really pretty option as well for a ring finish like so there we go <laughs> so that's another option that you can do with the rings and as I say there are infinite numbers of carries you can do there's lots of good inspiration on wrap you and love youtube channel which i will link to and of course in clan osha we've got a lovely thread of different caris fancy finish ideas and you can also invent your own as long as you are confident that you've got the tension held properly then you can always do that <laughs> thank you amna you're commenting to saying that my bump looks very cute <laughs> thank you um okay so now we'll do a quick comparison with the toddler caris so that you can see the differences there um so the baby caris um as i mentioned earlier does um start from newborn as long as your little one is seven pounds um or higher and it goes all the way up to about two and a half years um so they really are very expandable um which is great and the weight limit on them is is 45 pounds so you know that is very very high in terms of weight, weight limit but in terms of the the leg width to get your nice knee to knee ergonomic position of course both cares baby tod baby and toddler have been um certified by the hip healthy um hip um dysplasia um, web uh, um, service so um, institute so it's the hip dysplasia institute they've both been certified as hip healthy carriers which means they've got the lovely wide bottom and they're going to hold your baby in a lovely ergonomic place um, or position um, 
for your wee one. Now let me just see if there's a wee question there. <laughs> yes, Lydia says, very handy with all this hot weather bikini top indeed. So I'll show you bringing um, the baby down safely. So we are, I've got the tension of both straps held um, nice and neatly and I'm going to just loosen off that um, the, the, way, the, the waist belt just a tiny bit and I'm going to hold and support baby under bottom and then I'm going to hip scoot them round all the way around holding that tension bringing my arm up and over support them again under their bottom and that's them down <laughs> like so and then I will show you this little comparison between baby and toddler and do pop down any questions you have there for me as well. I do hope I've covered everything that everyone has asked me so far. Um, so the toddler carrier, um, so this one uh, is uh, suitable from £25. Um, so it does go up again to the £45, that's in terms of the, the weight bearing, load bearing, you know, it's very, very high. I think that's sort of typically around a five year old. But what we would say in terms of the width of the toddler Keras, you know, we have customers using it sort of for four years, four and a half years. So it really does have a brilliant long longevity as well, the, the toddler carrier. So... With the toddler carrier, we've got a fully padded waistband, so that's to give you more support. So um, with, with the baby one, we have the panel, at the bottom of the panel has this section of non-padding and that's so that you can easily roll it and it feels more comfortable and more versatile for small babies. And of course, you don't need quite as much lumbar support when you're not carrying uh, uh, when you when you're not carrying a toddler. So it works in a very similar way. We also have the pa leg padding, which is um, comfortable for your toddler. So um, if I bring this up onto my um, my waist. I'm going to just tie it in there. Now, I'm not going to do a full demo with the toddler because it works exactly the same way as the baby. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit about what you can do to cinch in that waist. So we had a question about cinching in the toddler waist. So of course, if you've had a baby carrier, then you will have a cinch um, that will have come with that baby carrier. There's mine. Here it is. <laughs> so you can always cinch that in. Um, for your toddler um, and bring the knot up to underneath their bottom and that will bring in the width of the panel a little bit for you. Um, you can use any kind of soft fabric so as long as it's nothing abrasive I would probably avoid ribbons um, because they can rub but if you have got some kind of soft piece of fabric then you can use that as a cinch to cinch the waist in. Um, it's not going to be as comfortable because you've got the waist, you've got the, the padded straps, the padded band here. Um, you can also um, roll the waist um, like so, but again you do have the kind of extra padding uh, to contend with when you do that. But it absolutely by all means is possible and it does feel um, quite comfortable um, from you know your perspective. Um, you might just find that you've got a little bit more bulk going on, but maybe that's not such a bad thing, so you can cinch it in that way. Um, if you are cinching in this way as well with a piece of fabric or something to kind of bridge the gap between a baby and a toddler size, then you absolutely can do that. You just will have a bit more padding going on here, which actually may not be the end of the world. Um, so we would say that if you are looking to go for, uh, if you're trying to decide which size to go for when you're kind of in between E, um, I'd say that you could size up to a toddler, maybe when your baby, when I mean, you've got, you know, maybe for a maximum of kind of six months or so. So if you've got a two, if you have got a two year old, um, then I would say that's, that's absolutely fine. You could go up onto the toddler size. I think if you have a kind of one year old or a one and a half year old, I think you're going to get a lot more comfort and use and quite a bit of longevity out of the baby size. So I would probably recommend that um, as well. Um, so let me just see if there's any more comments and questions here. Um, both of the fabric as well, both fabrics 
um, or both keras have the same um, width as well for opening the, the passes but like I say you're probably going to get a lot of benefit out of that for a toddler heavier baby. Um, yes Lydia so yeah brilliant you're asking all about the toddler cinch there so I think I've answered your questions on that one which is good. Um, lovely perfect so it's <laughs> safe to say that I will be, um, I already have a Keras picked out for my little one who's due in October um, so I'll be able to share some pictures with you at that time as well um, but it, it is a really lovely versatile carrier, it feels soft on your shoulders, soft around your stomach um, and it, it does grow with your baby, you know, grows from newborn all the way up to, you know, toddlerhood, <laughs> two and a half years or so and if you do want to continue carrying the Keras is a really good option, the toddler Keras is a good option and of course it's really quick and easy to put on so if you are finding wrap, wrapping a little bit daunting or it's not working for you in all of the scenarios, quick trips from the shop to um, the car, that kind of thing, maybe a Keras might be a good option for you. Um, you can join our Facebook community group Clanosha as well and hear um, from other parents who have the Keras and, and get their um, opinions and you can always contact us as well. So we're here on our Facebook Messenger, Instagram DMs, um, email and we look forward to answering any questions that you have at all and do pop any more comments um, down below this video and um, we will get back to you um, and try and answer those as best we can. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in today. I hope it's been useful and it's been an absolute pleasure to show you the Keras and a few of its features. Again, if you're looking for tutorials, our YouTube place is the best place for real tutorials on how to use the carriers um, if you find this a little bit quick for the stage that you're at with the Keras at the moment. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye!